Daniel Piscato here, and today we are going with our first video of rebuilding a Madden team, and we are doing a realistic rebuild today of the Houston Texans at the 2022 mark going into the 2023 season. So looking right away at this roster is not that good of a roster just because, hey, you have a lot of veterans, but they did get a lot of young guys, and we are going to Bailey like mainly look at trying to get rid of our veteran guys and you know, and trying to get our young guys right away into this, you know, team. So looking right away, we have Petre and we have Derek Stingley. The only problem with Derek Stingley is he, you know, he suffered with a lot of injuries and it's going to hurt us. An 84 injury with the plus four attribute is not going to be good. And we do not want that. So we got to decide, do we want to keep them around here? Like, do we want to kind of have them progress with this team and have them, for these like three years, maybe you pick up the fifth year option and have him play for four and then trade him. But I don't know. Just the injury is what's killing us with him. But on the other end, on our offense, we have Pierce, which is a really damn good uh, uh, halfback. He has a 97 injury with the plus four attribute. And I couldn't believe, you know, like I've done a lot of rebuilds on my own with this team. And I just can't believe when you go to contract and skills uh, or nowhere's at awards. He was a fourth round pick. For a fourth round pick, he's already a damn good running back. And he's definitely going to be a huge thing. Now, David Mills, on the other hand, do we want to build this team around him? Do we want to have this team all based around him? And that is a question I don't know. He's not even a top 30, you know, 32 quarterback. So he's below that. And... You know, he has some good things about him. He's still young. And for this year, we're going to have him play out. We're going to see how he does. And for this first year, we're just going to tank. We don't care. We don't care if we win games. We don't care. We want to get that last pick. And we have Green right here, a really damn good guard. And he's going to be a huge part. He's a 37, so he's almost in there. But he's going to be a huge player in this team for our rebuild. And... Yeah, I think we kind of went over everyone and our special teams. We got to kind of dump these guys in the future. These two guys are pretty old and they take a huge chunk of our money. But we're going to have a lot of money to deal with the future. And right away, like, it's getting to our trades. Now, we're not going to be trading for any players just because I don't think that's what the Houston Texans would do. But right away, you know, Tunsil is a very good player. He's 28 years old, though. He has six years. But the problem is I don't think we're going to be competitive in those next six years or four years. You know, because at, once he hits around probably 30, he's going to start going down a little. And I think we could keep him at a good point for a while in his career. But it's he's just going to be too old at that point. So we got to dump him. And a realistic thing, I like everything we're going to do is a realistic trade in this game. And I think the Buccaneers would be the perfect team to get him, a guy like this. Because, you know, you got Tom, like, we're doing like it was 2022 season. You know, we're not going into the 2023 season. But, you know, looking at this team, they're really missing a left tackle spot. And this team has, you know, they were really known before that for having an amazing offense line. And I think for this season, having right next to Wars is going to be a really good thing for this team. You know, they have a pretty weak left guard position here. But, you know, your guard spots are not that important. Your tackle spots are huge. So I think this is a really realistic rebuild. And a guy like Tunsil, a very good player, you know, not going to get injured probably much in the season at all, maybe one time. So definitely he's worth a first. He's worth a second. He's worth this much because, hey, they're a team that are like, hey, we're trying to get into the Super Bowl. We want to get one more with Tom Brady. And I think they're going to do this trade any day. So next pick, and I believe is probably a good thing, is doing uh, Brandon Cooks. Now, a team that I think would be perfect is Brandon Cooks is still a good player. 83. Probably has one season left being a really good player. But I think, you know, a team that maybe would do it, and this is a little bit on the end, the edge of it, is the Lions. Now, the Lions had, you know, at, at the beginning of the year, they suffered. You know, they didn't have a really that good of a season at the beginning. But in the end game, they, they almost made the playoffs. They almost made it. I think this is a, a team that really, hey, they get one more weapon on this team. They're a huge thing. And I think, you know, right here, a 32nd for uh, Cooks, any team would do that if they're, hey, we believe we have a shot. And they have a good team, really. You got Jared Goff, who had a pretty, you know, decent season. 
But overall, you got a pretty well, de- you know, well-rounded defense. Yes, there's some weak spots in this end, but you got Aiden Hutchinson for your future. And I think, hey, they honestly could go a little far if based on that luck. But they have him for, you know, Brandon Cooks is actually. Let's see his contract. I don't even know what his contract is, and let's see how long they would have him. So yeah, they have three years left with him, and I think honestly. The Lions are a team that they could get, you know, they could do some trading and just kind of get a few guys ready. Now, and two, let's look if we want to trade anyone else. We're going to keep Pierce because we like Pierce. Wide receiver core, we're fine with that. Tight end chart, we're just going to let our tight ends play this year out. And we've got Brevin Jordan, a really good tight end uh, guy. Young, only 22 years old. Tackle-wise, we're just going to stay weak this position uh, year. I think, honestly, we're going to keep everyone about kind of the same. I think corner-wise, maybe we would... I think maybe we would trade these two guys up. I think... Yeah, I think we could trade these two guys up and get a, a pretty good spot. If we find the right team, and I think... With the... We're just trying to look. So let's see the Bengals. Uh, I think the Bengals would be actually probably realistic for this. You know, I think they would offer up a first round pick to just to get, and we're going to see if they do it. Okay, so we did our trades, and we're just going to move right into the season. We're done looking at trades. We're going to keep the ro roster the same. So let's go to the regular season right away, and we're just going to be simming through games this first season. And we're going to go through it pretty fast. But we're just going to set our goals. And for this rebuild, I'm not going to choose like a certain draft class just because I don't. You know, there's certain draft classes. If you know the players, hey, you're going to get the best guys. And I don't think it's fair. We want to do it realistic. And you're going to get bust. And usually in the draft, they don't make a lot of bust. Okay. So we have our guys. And let's set our season goal. So we're trying to just lose every game. We're trying to tank. So four wins, if we could go below zero wins, I would take it. But four wins is where we're going to have it. So we're going to go mid-season because we need to get to week 11 to do our scouting. And we're just trying to get through this year fast. We want to get to the draft. We want to get to free agency. And honestly, the thing is, like, we kind of want to tank for these next few years. Because I don't think in one year we're going to be, you know, a Super Bowl shape. Definitely not. You know, this rebuild might take a few seasons, and it's definitely going to need to take some good drafting. But, you know, I think probably the biggest thing is rebuilding this defense, because offense, David Mills, I think, could be a good weapon for us, and a guy that we can count on for a few years. And right away, breakout QB, right when we're saying it. Now we're 1-5, we beat the Raiders, 31-28. to And... Let's see... So throw one or fewer interceptions, 350 yards. We'll see if he does it. And against the Titans, we lost 42 to 6. We'll see if he did it. And I actually hope he did it, but yeah, it does not look like he had a good game. He did not meet it, but it's fine for the first year. He's not going to go down at all. We'll upgrade our players right away, you know, just get it a little better for the rest of the season. And we really don't care about, you know, picking our certain selections. So let's just hurry up to week, uh, week you know, 11, choose our scouting, who we want to look at getting. Oh, break. Okay, we're actually getting a lot of breakout players now. So who's this? Derek Stingley? A good player, honestly. Just injuries, the one problem. And I think I wish games would have that. If, like, maybe if you could rest him for a certain number of games, his injury could go up. I know it can get upgraded over time, but, you know, it's not the same. You know, it's not going to go up where, okay, he's playing uh, pretty consistent. Because that happens with a lot of players is, like, you know, sometimes they come off, off of college. You know, they've been injured their college season. You know, they hurry into the NFL season. They get injured pretty fast. And I think if, you know, Derek Stingley can get a healthy year, he could be a good player. Okay, so we're looking at our draft guys now, and... Um... 
we do need a so let's look at these guys we need to look at you know this talent who we're looking at so right away i think this is a guy we're gonna look at we're gonna look at a tackle we do need a tackle i don't really want to take a tackle in the top five but hey we might take a guy in the top five if he has the talent we'll take a tackle there and usually i don't i actually don't know if there's ever been a tackle taken in and like number one in the draft. I don't think there is ever, but I, I really hope not. But maybe there, I'm sure it's happened before. Actually, let's see. We'll see if, if it's done. Um, We'll, we'll also put a tackle on it. Okay, I honestly I don't think I can find anything. If you guys, yeah, I honestly just kind of pops up some random things. So we'll look at some other picks now. And Bradley. No, we're not going to go with Bradley. We we do need to look at defense, and the problem is, uh, you know, we're going to look at these two guys because I think they're both pretty good, and. We might want to take another guard, honestly. If this guy looks good. And the thing I'm kind of looking for this year is finding guys that are, you know, not going to get injured. Because that's the problem is we don't want to take a guy like Derek Stingley who might be injured most of the season. So we'll look at this guy. And then after that, uh, we're going to pass. Bro, I don't know. We're just trying to find a guy that could be really, you know, pretty well talented. And... I think we'll look at this this guy. We'll look at Phillips, see if he's the guy we want to go with. He's 22, good speed if he actually does. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at Phillips. I'm hoping Phillips looks good. So we're going to put uh, Tramel Phillips. And then we're going to have the number two, Mitch Banfield and Jared Harrison. Those are going to be the three guys we're going to scout out. And I believe probably all three of those guys could be good picks for us. So we're just going to send to the Super Bowl week, get it over, see what we end the season off of. We're 1-8, so it's not that good of a year. And honestly, we're hoping probably be 1-17. I don't want any more wins than one just because if there is another team in this, you know, we don't want to compete. And it's kind of weird to see how this season actually ended to see what, you know, what teams did good. And I don't really, like, this has been a weird year of the NFL. And going into the next year, it's fun to see the draft, you know, just a few days from now, but we finished off the season three and fourteen. So actually, honestly, not a bad season for us. I think maybe they might have done the same. So we got the Chargers in Philadelphia in the Super Bowl, but let's just kind of take a quick scan of what our players did. So David Mills, honestly, it was not a good season from him, but broke the four thousand yard mark. Uh, Damian Pierce almost breaking a thousand yards, but too many rush is not a good average rate and. Chris Moore having a decent season, and right away at rushing, we just kind of, I don't think we did that good on our offensive wise. I'm sure we have a lot of sacks, yeah. Charlie Heck, 19 sacks, definitely not a good season from him. And let's look at our interceptions real fast in our sacks. So, Stingley with two picks. Jared Hughes, oh my god, seven sacks season from him, two picks. Five and a half sacks. So honestly, it was a good year for some of our players, but the, those players are leaving our team next year. We're not going to, you know, try to keep anyone on this roster from this team. We just want to kind of rebuild everyone, just, you know, clean the house. So Chargers actually win it over the Eagles. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys saw that, but yeah, Chargers took, I think it was 31 to 13. So we'll just upgrade our players and let's get right into free agency for this team on, you know, trying to get this team rebuilt as realistically as possible. So going into free agency first day and our biggest thing is probably trying to find a corner to, you know, a guy that's going to play all season because I don't think we're going to have Derek Stingley all next year. I'm sure he's probably going to get hurt and we're going to have problems. So Jamal Dean, we could take if we believe he's the guy, but 
I think James Bradbury or would be a really good guy to have on this team. But we do kind of want to find a guy that's a little youngish and be able to play most of the season. And I don't think we're going to find a young, talented guy like we're looking for. And let's see. Yeah, actually, what is the youngest guy? So it looks like Sean Murphy is the youngest guy, but he doesn't really have high interest in going to our team for his year. Jamal Dean would be a good pick, but I don't... We'll offer him a contract to see what he, you know, what he wants. So honestly, a good pick. Okay, I'm back real fast. Sorry, guys. I, I don't think I want to edit it out just in the video just because I just, you know, I had to grab something real quick. And that's why I had to pause the first time. I just had to grab something. But I think we might win with this deal. I think we'll offer him a little bit more money. We have some spending room, but we'll change it to a four years. We'll bump up the money. He's definitely worth a little bit of paid, and we can kind of pay him that much money. $56 million, It's a quite a bit of money, but we want a guy like this on our team, and... Honestly, it's about the same. We're just going to do the same contract. I don't think I want to pay him anymore if he's not really, you know, if it doesn't make that much difference. But we're going to do a four-year deal with that. We'll keep it that type of end. And we'll look at other uh, positions. Josh Allen be a huge thing, but I don't think we're going to be able to pick him up. We'll offer him a con contract if he'll take the contract he wants. I'm happy to pay the guys what they want, but, yeah, we're not even hunting with the contract we offered. So let's look around and... Davenport would be a really good guy, and I think we're going to offer Davenport a contract. Again, a guy that circles injuries, but if no one wants him, I'll be happy to take him. And I think he'd be a huge addition for our team this first year. Now, Matthew, I don't, I don't know how to say his last name, Ion Endis. I think this guy will be a huge beneficial, and he wants to play for us, so we're going to offer him a contract, and I'm sure he'll sign with us for this first year. Clowney, I think... Bryce Huff would maybe be a huge guy to have on this team. He's definitely young, a decent injury, and I think we offer Bryce Huff a contract here. I think he's 25, definitely a good talent, likes you know our team, how it is. Let's just kind of scan over who he is first before we offer a contract because I just want to see who this type of guy is. And I do want to leave a spot open. Power moves a little bit bad, and... Uh, I think we're going to pass on him. I think that guy is could be a factor for us, for us. But I don't think it's this year that we need him. Now, offensive-wise, we do want to kind of find maybe a guard that could fit in for this year. And we might offer a guard later in the draft, but Irv Smith, a good guy. We'll see if we can sign him. Five-year contract. If he wants to play for us, I'd be happy to have him on our team. Good tight end. And, yeah, we're in the compete for him. Fullback, I don't think there's a fullback. And we just have one this last day, so we'll see what we do. Tom Brady got 10 contract offers. And it's honestly, in the rebuild, it's always the Patriots that go after him, which is kind of funny just because, hey, the Patriots didn't pick Um, And let's see. I think we're pretty happy with what our team looks like. We'll honestly offer Peppers a contract. We'll offer him a two-year deal with what he wants and see if he will take that type of deal. And we're not even on the hunt for that, so we're going to withdraw. And I know this is a dumb thing, but Bass is honestly the best kicker we could have. He's an 80 overall, 26. And I think, you know, we're, we can sign him cheap on a cheap deal. And I'm happy to take a really cheap kicker. We might, or we'll pay him a little bit more money so he has, you know, he's willing to take it. You sometimes kickers pass off, but that's a pretty cheap deal for a good kicker on our team. Very, you know, good uh, kick power. Kick accuracy, a little bit of a problem. But I'd be happy to have a kicker like him. So we're going to you know, go over day one. And yeah, see what happens. Negotiations. All five are off. And let's see our signings.
And we only got two players our first day. Oh, so that we active. Oh, okay, that makes more a little bit more sense. So anyway, we're still leading for Devonport. We're the number one team. And the Ravens are competing with him, but I think honestly he might sign with the Ravens because we're not rolling offering a one year deal. I'm sure he's not happy about that. Er Smith, Giants are competing in that, and we're last now. And Panthers even upped us. Fast, we're still good. But our two contracts, Dean, we offer four years, a really good guy to get on this team. And we got Matthew. Two good picks. I'm really happy with that. And we're going to scan over what we can do with the rest of our you know our money and cap value. So we'll see if there's any, is there a good backup we could sign with our money? You know, I think it'd be really beneficial. I think, honestly, I'll offer Jordan Love a contract. Jordan Love would be a huge kind of pickup if we can get this guy really, you know, Jordan Love really cheap. We'll offer Jordan Love a 1.2, 1.2 deal. See where that's at for seven years. And yeah, he's definitely not going to take that deal. So we'll, we'll bump it up a little bit, but seven years, 1.4, 1.4. So less than 20 million. I know this is probably like a dumb thing. Actually, uh, we're, we're not going to do it. You know, I said I was going to be realistic. And honestly, Jordan Love is never going to... Uh, what is it? Is never actually going to take it. Jordan Love would never want to, you know, even get... I think he probably got cut off the team just because, hey, he's a low overall. Just because, hey... Uh, the Packers are never gave him this chance because Rogers keeps staying there. And going into this, actually, is pretty good left guard, but I think we're going to pass on that, and we'll see if there's any guy. So we already have a good right guard. The only kind of position we need to take is a tackle. We'll take Beluga. We'll offer him the contract he wants just because we have the money to, you know, pay him, and he would be a good guy just to have the team if we don't take the guy we, you know, we really want. Because if we miss on one of our tackles just because it's too early or we believe it's not the right pick, you know, we don't want to be stuck with a 65 overall again and let 19 sacks up. Corner-wise, we're going to look back at here, see if there's a young corner that just, you know, hasn't got picked up. We're looking around like the 23, 24 age gap. 25 years old, 73, hasn't got picked up. I think we're, we're still looking younger than 25. You know, we want to build a young team. And I know it's probably not smart to kind of take some of these guys, but I really want to try to have some guys that can be beneficial for the next few years. And honestly, I think we'll go with this. Uh, where is it? I just passed him. Okay. Thomas Graham, a good corner, two years into the league, and has a good injury rate. And we'll try to pick him up if we can get him on our team. And we just kind of went down. So we're, we just have to go back to the 70 range. We'll offer him the contract he wants just because I believe he probably is worth that contract. And, you know, he's a low overall, but it really doesn't matter towards me. A one-year deal. Hey, we'll offer you a four-year deal to play for us. We're going to take down a little bit of money. I know I just said I'd pay him what he wants. But really, you know, we got to save us some money. But he should probably send with that deal. And we're going to be done, you know, kind of, you know, see who signs with us, see who don't. And, you know, whatever happens, it's good with us. We can't really change up a lot about it. So, we're, yeah, we're just going to simp through. And then we'll, on the last day, we'll look up who we got. And really, this team is going to be a lot better than it is last year just because we have a better corner. We have some a defensive tackle. And I don't know if, yeah, we didn't get Davenport, which is definitely probably a little bit of a hurt on us. But I think we should be fine. Now, going into our scouting before the draft. Yeah, so we haven't looked at anything else. We had these two tackles. And did the wide receiver drop? Oh, I thought we, I thought we scouted a wide receiver. No, I guess, huh, I thought there were... No, oh yeah, so there was a wide receiver. Okay, I'm like, I thought it was another tackle. So we'll look at free agency. Tom Brady probably went to the Patriots, like I'm guessing. Let's see, and no, he's a Raider. I've never actually seen that before. And I like, always when I see it, it's always the Patriots that pick him up. But let's look at my signings real fast. So we got Jamal Dean for four years, uh, 30 million, million salary. Pretty good contract for him. You know, he's worth that type of money. And he's going to be a huge weapon for us in this season. 
We got Beluka, a guy who, you know, we're going to probably have him start at a tackle spot if we don't really get one. Matthew, good defensive tackle, one-year contract. He's worth it. He's, you know, he's on the older side. You know, he's 29 years old, but a good player. And we got Graham, four-year contract, $5.6 million, a guy that's going to, you know, be a good backup on this team. Okay, so let's look at team-wise just to see which teams are going to be competitive. Because honestly, we want to see what teams are going to be with us and competing with us. So right away, Raiders get a weapon. And Raiders finally get a quarterback that, you know, could throw the ball to Devontae Adams. And maybe they might be a team that is ready to compete, ready to go. Tom Brady is still the eighth, you know, best quarterback in the game. Bears spend a little money. So Bears spent, then you know, got Jamal Williams. Full pack is not really a position that, you know, based on the team, it could be a huge position. But, you know, fullback's not going to be a big pickup for the Lions. Now, wide receiver, Michael Thomas goes to the Eagles. I think that's a realistic thing. And uh, actually, a four-year deal. Jeez, he's going to be 34 years old. Maybe they cut him. Maybe he retires before. Odell goes to the Patriots. Juju goes to the Bears. Patriots. So, Bears and Patriots have spent quite a bit of money. R. Smith goes to the Giants. Hooper goes to the Cardinals. Tackle, not really a big tackle spot. Bradbury goes to the Bengals. So Bengals got you know a pretty decent center. Washington spent some money on a uh, tackle. And Bear, I meant Lions, getting a right guard. Maybe the Lions are going to be a little competitive. And the Bears are spending a lot of their money on this one year. Okay, so left end. And Clowney goes to the Raiders. So Raiders might try to build this one-year team. But again... The Bears spent the money. Defensive tackle. Brown's got a guy. Uh, you know, Okay, right in. Lions got him. Lions and Bears are both going to be teams. I think, you know, Raiders, Lions, Bears. I think, you know, I feel like the Raiders probably have the best chance of going somewhere. But Bears might be a huge progression. And Lions. Honestly, the Lions spent quite a bit of money. But Bears... The Bears are spending a lot of money on kind of players. Patriots, again. But Bears! William Jackson III. Cardinals. And yeah, Raiders and Cardinals both spent quite a bit of money. Kicker. We didn't get Bass. He went to Washington. Okay, it, honestly, it's a fine thing. I think he's going for two years. So we're not we're not even going to take Bass ever. Bass is off the table. Should have signed with us. And let's get into the draft. So the 2023 draft, it's a, what is it? From this video, it might be a little later, but from where I am now, it's four days away. So it's really damn close. And right away, let's look at the talent we got. We also got the fourth pick. So two top five talents right there. Now let's look at our other guys, see. Jeez, we did good. We need to get all three of these picks if we can. And Jamal... Or what no is it? Jamal Phillips. I think this guy's gonna be a huge weapon for us this season. A injury, definitely a good guy. And is he a coverage linebacker? I don't want him to be a coverage linebacker. No, he's gonna be a rusher. So Jamal Trum Phillips definitely probably gonna be the steal of the draft if we can take him. So let's look at this wide receiver chart. Mitch uh, Benfield, good uh, guy. You know, not speed is a huge thing on him, but I think he's more of yeah a physical wide receiver. 6'5", 215, definitely going to be a guy that can moss you. He's going to be tall in the field and definitely going to be a guy hard to guard. Already good things about him, the injury, so it's a guy that we're definitely probably going to want to take on this team. And we'll look at uh, Jared Harrison, see what we know about him. Uh, honestly, a really good player. C injury, but hey, he's a really good talent, and we have to take a guy like that. See injuries, you know, it's not that bad, but right away we're going to take Mitch Benfield. Give him on a roster. Welcome, Mitch Benfield. 93 speed, uh, 93 jumping, 76 strength. You know, pretty good for a wide receiver, I feel like. Change of direction, 92. Agility, 86. Acceleration, 92. Honestly, he's going to be a huge weapon for us the, the first year. And the Steelers, we're going to trade with them just because we want this pick. I want it. You know, I want the left tackle. We really need a tackle. And honestly, at the number two pick, I know, like, hey, you don't really want to take a tackle at the number two pick. But we need that pick. Actually, we don't want to even trade that. The problem is we need picks. 
I think we're going to actually pass on this pick. I know he's a top five talent, but we need players. A one player is going to be huge for us, but maybe he might fall. Nope, he went away right away. So, honestly, it's fine. Both tackles go. And you're probably like, I know it would have been smart because, hey, he's the top five talent. He's a good player. And I didn't do it just because he had a C injury. You know, honestly, it really didn't matter if he had a C injury. It's just, you know, we need as much talent as we can get. And a normal dove, that definitely hurts. But this guy's going to be a huge player for us. He's the top five talent. I like the pick. But going back, why I didn't take the pick. So let's actually go through this too. Is just because you know I didn't think it was smart. We need as much you know guys on this team as we can, and one tackles is not going to benefit us right away. We need a guy that can you know we need a lot of guys that are at least good and can make a factor right away. So Seattle take a quarterback. Jets take right side linebacker. Lions take a left outside linebacker. Eagles take a wide receiver. So wide receiver core. If that guy's good. They might be really good. Panthers, tight end. Patriots take right end. Colts take right guard. Vikings take a left end. And I'll see that. I could see that. Uh, Cowboys take a left end. Cardinals take a corner. Uh, Titans in our division. Let's see who they take. They take a right end. I'm fine with all that, you know, what who they took. I don't really know much about this class, and we're kind of going this a little bit of a, you know, blind. But our one thing we need is a corner. I know, hey, we already took, you know, we got Steenley. We got uh, Dean. We got that one guy we took. But that guy is honestly kind of just a filler guy, just because we know Derek Stingley is going to get hurt, and we need a fill-in. But, um... Let's see. Left tackle. Maybe we take Miles. Maybe Miles is a guy that's going to be beneficial. And Miles looks good. C to F, a problem. But AA, 21 years old. Very, definitely uh, top two. We're gonna, we have to take Miles. I feel like he, he has normal dev, dev trait. And I probably feel like it was injury Y. It's normal dev. But I feel like it's fine. We're going to go to our 26 pick. And... You know, we need to focus on our defense now. Defense is definitely a big thing for us to take. We'll look at a defensive tackle, even though, hey, we have Collins. We have uh, our new guy, Matthew. I think this guy could be good. Uh, Duke. We'll look at what kind of our other picks because we don't want to just settle right away. Like, hey, this is the guy. No, we don't want to do that. Center-wise, I honestly, a center pick might be a good thing, but I don't like taking centers in the first round in this game just because... Honestly, for some reason, centers always in the first round never turn out good. And I get it, it's like late, you know, first round, but I just can't trust it. We'll look at this corner pick real fast and we'll look at the tackle and see there. Honestly, a pretty decent corner. I like the guy. 21 years old. I th But the problem is speed. We need a speedy corner, so we're going to kind of pass him on there. And I know it's like, hey... You know, we, we could have kept him and had it, you know, developed him. But the problem is just, you know, there's so many players in this game that speed is a huge thing now. You can't have a slow corner. Because if he gets burnt, you're just going to have play after play on your team. Look at this right end. And we're probably going to honestly take the defensive tackle. Hope he's our guy for a future. Because if he's not, honestly, I'm not too sure about how good this our draft has been so far. But Duke... Start, uh, we, we don't know, but has a development trait, so that's a really good thing for us. And right now, we only have two dev traits. We have our, you know, our wide receiver we took, which definitely is going to be a huge win for us. And honestly, we might take the corner now if he stayed on the board. We'll see. He did stay on the board. But there is some other players we can look at before we even, you know, decide, hey, that's our guy. So corner-wise, uh, Randolph, uh, definitely not the guy we want. Um, honestly, like, I'm probably going to mispronounce some of these names just because, I don't know, some of these names in this game are kind of weird, but we honestly, we might take another wide receiver pick if this guy is good, and we'll look at him real fast, because we want some speed on our wide receiver too. This guy, honestly, I believe is going to be incredibly talented. Not uh, like our type of team, but 96 speed, 96 acceleration. 
five eight. He's like really short, but I don't really feel like that's gonna be a huge problem. Speed is gonna be a huge factor for us, and we're hoping that. Okay, they didn't take the corner, so we got the two kind of guys we want. We're gonna take our corner pick now, just because I believe, you know, he's fallen a little, but I believe he's a good corner. He's only twenty one years old. Good things about him. And yeah, we're gonna take him. Franklin joins our team. Has a development trait and 96 change of direction for a player. Honestly, a little bit, you know, faster than I thought he would be. Good player for us. He's definitely going to be a huge factor for us this first season. So we'll go to our 30th round pick. I mean, our 30th pick of the second round. And let's see. Maybe we took a safety pick here if this guy is good. Nope. It's kind of hard because I don't know really what's going to be a huge beneficial for us. You know, which guys are going to be guys that are going to make immediate impacts this first year. And honestly, if this guy isn't it, we'll probably trade back and look for, you know, a little farther back in the class. So yeah, I don't think this guy's it. So we're going to trade our pick, look at, see what we can get for next year. Hoping we can just stay with the second round pick and get maybe a little value for next season. So 2024 pick, probably what we're going to take with this. And honestly, we're just looking for ne next year's second round. So Tynes, so that was the Bills. I don't believe the Tynes are going to have a good year, so we're probably just going to stay with the Tynes. And... Yeah, we're just going to go with the Tynes pick. Just hoping that actually turns out good for us. So they took a tight end for their pick, and we're going to get it to our third round pick. And honestly, we're going to trade it too. We're just looking for an extra second. We're going to take the Steelers right away. Because honestly, I don't even care how the Steelers did. We're just kind of moving up. There was not really anything I wanted there. So we're going to go to the 36th pick now. See what we can take. And, you know, for our third round pick, we're trying to probably look for... Uh, Maybe an offensive lineman here or a tight end. Because honestly, we're good on our corners now. Defensive tackles were set. Probably our linebackers were weak on. But shouldn't it be that big of a huge thing this first year? We can, you know, we can suffer a little bit. We we can. You know, if we have a bad year, we're not gonna look down on it. We're not. So let's look at this, maybe a middle linebacker pick. Honestly, I'd be fine with the middle linebacker pick if he is good. Really good speed for this type of guy. And yeah, I'm going to take him. Dev Trey, 91 speed. 91 speed is really actually good for a you know, a middle linebacker. This guy's going to be probably a huge weapon for us. 91 acceleration, definitely a good pick. Change of direction, 77, a little bit kind of worried. But actually, I don't know what a good change of direction is for a linebacker. But speed-wise... He's going to be a huge weapon for our, you know our defense this first year, and that's what I'm hoping he really you know turns out to be. So we kind of fix our you know linebacker problem a little, but we'll have to see what overall he is because honestly you can get a dev trade and think this guy's going to be a huge weapon, and then all of a sudden you see the overall, and it just it can just be shit. And honestly, this guy, I, I looking at this guy, I had a little bit of hopes for him, but. You know, it's kind of hard to tell what we want to take here. You know, um, we could take our, another right tackle. Wouldn't really hurt us that bad. Honestly, I think we're going to just do it uh, just to get some, you know, depth on our chart. It's a fourth round pick. This guy's probably not going to play. But, you know, we might get a guy that gets hurt during the season. And more Stanley might be a guy that fills in. And if we need him, if he's good enough, we can move him around. He could be a center, he could be a guard, it really doesn't matter to me. So going into our fifth round pick, this is kind of where you know your picks start getting a little, you know, shitty just because the talent's a little bit off the board. And honestly, you can get some steals though. And I really want to get some defense, you know, kind of a bit of more picks on this board. And right now we might take a corner, honestly, just because I believe a corner might be the best pick and move him to safety his first year. We'll look at, you know, what corners are still on the board. If there's a corner that looks like he has some talent. Maybe this guy has an A on press, which is a good thing. 
Good jumping. And honestly, this guy might be a steal. I believe we found a... I, I do just believe we found the steal. A day three pick? He looked good. F play recognition and F kick return? You know, kick return doesn't matter. We don't we don't care at all about that. Play recognition? We do care about that. But a 6'2", good player. You know, we'll look at what he was. Okay, so our 7th round pick. You know, a 7th round pick doesn't really matter. You usually find, you know, maybe a little thing. We're probably just going to take a running back with this pick. We done that. We had a pretty good draft, I feel like, but we did, we still got to see the overall. We'll probably take this guy exclu exclusive back and have the highest, you know, speed. We're gonna take him. Welcome to the team, ninety one speed. So we'll see what he does this first year. And he might be a bust, but honestly, who cares? Arizona State running back. And for our final pick, thinking what we need, um. Well, all these guys are going to probably be a bus pick, so we need to go back a little bit. And we're looking for either right on the edge of day three or undrafted. Honestly, we might just take a defensive tackle. We already took one. We have good depth on it. Mm. Welcome to our team. Probably, Jeff Morrison was probably a bust, but welcome to the team, and we end off the draft. So let's look at our draft recap. It did go up. We're all 75 overall. So we did actually have some good things. So let's look at what we did. 2023 season. Let's look at our rookies. And. Oh my god. We got a 79 overall wide receiver. But here, before we do anything. We're going to look at what that tackle was. A, oh my god. 78 tackle. We definitely took a hit there. That guy's going to be huge, but it's fine. We had a good draft anyways. So Mitch uh, Banfield, 79 overall, really good speed, physical wide receiver, uh, 96 injury, 86 stamina. Definitely going to be a huge weapon and is going to compete his first year. Jamal Phillips, a really huge player for us. You know, a normal depth trait is kind of sucks. 99 injury, so this guy's not going to get hurt much during the season. And what's his speed? 86 speed. We're going to just move him. He's going to become our uh, right end rusher for our you know career here. Hoping he progresses into a guy we can trust and love. And you know he's going to be a huge player. Moves up one overall to a 77 overall player. Let me look at his uh, finesse skills. So finesse, he's really damn good. Power moves is a little bit of a worry, but you know he's going to fit our team right away. Uh, Emmett Miles, uh, left tackle pick. We believe this guy was a huge kind of pickup for us. Uh, Agile, and we are going to change our team schemes. 91 entries is definitely not a problem, and he definitely can start our rookie year. Left tackle, there he is. Don uh, Duke, definitely, you know, a little bit of a crappy little thing. But honestly, this guy's going to be good. Uh, he has a lot of traits with them. Sw uh, swim move, spin move, bull rush, high motor, balance, and spontaneous. This guy is definitely probably going to be a huge pick, but 70 overall. Don't know if he'll start this year, and we could force him to our offense, but right now we're going to kind of look away. Zach Perkins, good wide receiver. No trait. Uh, 99 injury. Dude's not going to get hurt. 96 speed. Definitely a huge guy to get on this team. Don't know if he'll start this you know season, but we'll see about there. Anthony Franklin, I definitely believe this guy was a huge pickup. Oregon player, was this our... F Hold on, let's look. Was this our fifth-round pick? I think it might have was. No, it wasn't. So this was our second round pick. Anthony Franklin, a really good uh, speed guy. And this guy's going to be a good player for us. Happy to have him. He's going to be our third corner. Okay, so let's move down. Middle linebacker, Ron Lyon, uh, Lynn. Uh, this was our speedster linebacker. Good player. We're happy to have him. He has a lot of traits. And yeah, he's going to be a huge factor for us this first year. Now, right tackle-wise, more Stanley. Definitely a huge bust. Not happy about that. Ryan Cohen, uh, we're going to move this guy to a free safety. He's going to probably fit that free safety spot really well. He's going to get the spot of a lifetime just because I don't think we even have a free safety. And yeah, he's going to be 15 free safety. And he might 
you know, he might not be that good this first year. Running back pick, 7th round pick, 66 overall. Not too bad. And Jeff Morrison, definitely a bust on our end. But really, it doesn't matter. It's a 7th round pick. You're going to get a hit or miss in it. So let's just look over our skin of our roster real fast, what we're going to go into next season. We got Blue Gus. So we don't even know if Miles is going to start, but honestly, it doesn't matter. We might move him to a center pick because he would actually do really good there. But honestly, this is probably what our team is going to look like. Wide receiver core, we're a little weak, but uh, Banfield is going to be a huge weapon. Let's actually change our team scheme real fast just because I want to go with a different team scheme for this one season. Just because I believe the Texans is good, but I don't feel like... Okay, this is staff points. We'll do that in another video just because, you know, we'll do that later. And definitely staff points is huge to kind of get your team going. But, you know, we don't need to do that right now. Manage staff, team schemes. And if you guys are wondering what team schemes I want to, you know, trade to, we don't want to do a power run. We want to turn a little bit into a faster offense, passing a little bit more, not running as much. And for a defensive scheme, we're going to go into a 4-3. Just because I want to stay in a 4-3, and I feel like it would kind of fit this team good enough. And we're going to change our offensive playbook to the Minnesota Vikings. It's very, you know, a pass-heavy offense and runs the ball on, you know... Honestly, if you have a good running back, hey, they'll run the ball a lot. But yeah, I believe that's honestly the best thing we could have done this season. And honestly, this team is ready for next year. 2023, going to be a really good season for them. Good defense. And honestly, we're just going to have to move some things around. But Dean's going to be a huge factor. And yeah, this whole team is going to have a huge, you know, I believe we're going to go up even more from a three and a, what was it? 15 team? No, three and 14. But, you know, unfortunately, this is the end of today's video. This is episode one. The next video, we are going to be trying to take this team up into the 2024 season. We will move a little faster just because this was our first video. It went a little bit slow. But I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And for our first, you know, rebuilding the Texans, realistic rebuild, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you guys want to, like the video. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.